Henry playing with your memory. Wogan's perfect recall, five o'clock. First up, be choosy. Deal or no deal on four. Twenty-two boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. And the milestone of uh, nearly four years of Deal or No Deal is, is just ahead of us, and the banker now has his dream. It has actually happened. We have the 22nd member of the 1P Club. Why is that so important to the banker? Because the banker has this totally sadistic dream that every single player in the East Wing and the West Wing would be a 1P member. That's his dream, to get them all back and play the game again. With the board, only with one P's. <laughs> and all the offers, only one P. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be playing him today. He's got his sadistic dream come true. He's going to be horrendous. <laughs> Here come the names. Hang on, I've just had a thought. 1P winner yesterday. Maybe you're going to win a quarter of a million pounds. Stevie! Do please take a seat. Stevie Millington from Leon C in Essex. Yes. Owner of a vintage boutique. That's right. It's clothes, isn't it? Clothes, yeah. So where did this fascination with clothes, particularly vintage clothes, come yeah, well, about? I was air hosting for two years and I thought that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And then I thought, well, actually, no, that wasn't at all. So I started putting together, like, getting together a book of, like, how to run your own store. Mm. And then I visited all the rag houses and all of that, and I was diving through all the bins, you know, like... They come from all over the world, you know, Africa, everywhere. And then we buy them for, like, so much money, and they're just thrown away, you know, vintage clothing. So it's all back in fashion. <laughs> Good. Yeah. A dream with a difference. <laughs> uh, you said that you... Um used to be in the airline business and yeah you appear to be fixing an engine <laughs> presumably you knew at that point no one was going to turn it on yeah. <laughs> well, that would have been quite an yeah, interesting sort of <laughs> what sort of engine is that a big one i don't know <laughs> okay we know what uh, your ambition is are you happy to go on i definitely am yes okay it's appeared again some call it the death box others love it I need you, please, to confirm you chose box 22 at random before the game know. began. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Stevie, good luck. Okay. <laughs> boyfriend choose the numbers. Dwayne? Yeah, Dwayne. And then I thought, if it all went wrong, I'd never forgive him. So, oh, yeah. I'm going to... The game could go down I'm with Dwayne. I'm just going to... Yeah. <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> We've got two Heathers here, haven't we? Yes, we have. Lucky Heather. And then my best friend Heather in the audience. Though. Hopefully very lucky. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to go with Aaron, number one. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> the best, Steve. Oh, Aaron. 35,000. <laughs> Come on, Steve, it's going to start. Come on. I'm, I'm going to go with Vic, number 16. All oh, right, OK. It's you now, Vic. 
Good luck, Stevie. You're a cracker. Donna. Oh. Donna. You are going with Donna? Yeah, I am actually going to go with Donna. Prima Donna? <laughs> Come on, Donna. I hope it's safe. I hope so. Oh, oh no! What? Okay. That is amazing. That was horrible. We got there 20, 30, 50, 155,000 pounds of money just in that little group over there. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> that is extraordinary. Still got a four million um, it's difficult to know what to do now. Yeah, because you I'm found taking... you found those three whoppers yeah. all together. So does does sort of I need to say common sense, but is it law probability or whatever suggests that number seven is blue is gonna be a blue. Except it's Tristan who's new to the game. Come on, Tristan. Let's go. Oh, you are going there. I'm going to go, Tristan. Yeah, no pressure, Tristan. Welcome to the game. Here you go. Thank you. Good luck, Stevie. I'm going to leave that side. Oh, yeah? You're going to leave it completely? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go for Susie, number 14. Um, good luck, Stevie. I think your business sounds great. I hope it does really well. Thanks, Susie. Club. He's feeling good. He's not. Your fantasy is fulfilled. Yeah, I know you'll get them all back. <laughs> Weeping behind boxes. Oh, there's only one thing irritating you today, because you were very irritated yesterday. The moron newbie. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out the one P. <laughs> He's really, really got it in for you. He said, how dare you, he says. He says, the new beer arrives here looking like he's just clocked off from B&Q. <laughs> Comes down here, opens up the 1P, right. He's got it in for you, hardware boy. <laughs> yeah, but Stevie's here. Yeah, the 1P was very important. Of well, course, without it, he was a disaster. He's good. <laughs> Well, then we got to the money. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't good, was right, it? Right, no, it wasn't. No. It was all right. Yeah. Mm. Well, the opening offer is £5,500. Mm -hmm. Penny power. That was penny power. If you'd not found the... Uh, well, I hate to think what it would have be, been, actually, if you hadn't found the one, Pete. Um, that's a brilliant amount of offer for that board, but... The board's only going to get better, and I can make this decision on my own, so I'm ready for the question. Yeah. Oh, well done. No stabilizers, no parachute. <laughs> okay. uh, are you ready for the question? I'm ready now. Five and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> for me is really unlucky. Why? Because my birthday's on the 13th, and so I was like four of my friends. Uh, we all went to the casino, and we all put a pound on number 13, you know. And uh, guess what number came in? 14. So we were gutted. But, um, so I don't know if to choose that now. It's most unusual for someone to say that their birthday is an unlucky day. Yeah. So I think I'll take it out. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Sure? 
No, 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 no. I'm going to go for Shell, number two. All right, we're bouncing around here. Stand down, Diane. We're with you, Shell. Uh, it's been a pleasure knowing you. You're a girl, and you, you, you are lovely. I hope you shocked us really well. Rob. Rob, wicked guy, man. Good luck, Stevie. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed our chats together, so hope it's a blue. Go for it. Oh, but now you've got to persuade the nation to come back to your game. Oh, hang oh, on, I'll do oh, it for you. Yes, thanks. Bing bong! <laughs> um, come back after the break, and what should we get? That £250! Pounds. Woo! I think she meant thousands. Thousands! She could still get the 250 I think she meant the 250000 Stevie's come here with big ambitions. She wants the 250 pounds. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she did rather drop a bit off the end of that, didn't you? Anyway. I don't want that. No, you want that quarter million? Mm -hmm. Cool. You could do a great vintage clothes business yep, for that much money, couldn't you? Okay, so there's one to go. So where is oh, it? Oh, have I? Um. Kerry. Come on, Kerry. <laughs> come on, Kerry. Come on, Kerry. Good Come luck. On. Come on, Kerry. Cash and Kerry. That was a painful beginning, which has turned into a rather attractive ball, actually. Because you've got the quarter mil, obviously, but uh -huh. you've then got that backup, yep. and then you've got serious backup. Hello. Have we put your backup? Oh, yeah, he's saying so. There's absolutely no way that I'm going to give away the 250 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you know her ambitions now. Oh, he's quaking with your lofty ambitions. Okay. But she must know about money. She's 22. But she's got her own business, yeah? Went to the bank. Got a loan. Set up her own business. Right. The reality is, at 22, you've got your own business. Yeah. This is a woman who knows her own business. And he's taking you very seriously. Your box is now worth £8,750. Do we bring the heather in now, or do we save the heather? We'll save the heather. Save, save the heather. Save it. Right, okay. I'm ready for the question now. £8,750. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr Banker, but no deal. Thank you. I'm going to go for... Kyle, number three. Kyle, could we have box three, please? Good luck, Stevie. Come on, Kyle. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Exactly with that. Good luck. 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 Shirley, number 15, please. All right, Shirley. I'm fine, thank you today, yes. Oh, good. You're always smiling. Try. Yeah, it's good. Keep us smiling. We want 50p, please, show. 50p. Come in up. Oh. I think you misheard me. <laughs> 50,000. Oh, All the cash is on the west side. It is. 
Actually, is. you're dead right. Yeah. All the cash does seem to be in the West Wing. Um... Michael, please. All right, Michael. I am. You? Yeah, I'm terrific. Can we have a blue, please? Sure can. Good luck, Stevie. Three grand. What a round. All right, Stevie. Oh, what a round. Hello. I know it was an all red round. Yeah, and it had the 50 grand in it as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. He respects you as a businesswoman, as a person, right. but he, he can't go up. In fact, no. he's, but he's, he's not crashing down, yeah. actually. Seven and a half. That's good. Silence, but he's, he's you're not fighting him at the moment. Yeah, he's not worried about you at the moment. No. There's a lot of blues there. Um, but I think I'm ready for the question. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you, but no deal. Right. Heather. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Sure. Heather. Yeah. Okay. Positive. Sure. Positive, Heather. Right. Why, <laughs> why did you waver? I'm just going all on instinct, instinct you know. Yeah. Go for it. Don't go for it. Okay. So we're currently. And I'm on, saying go for it. We're yeah. currently on go for it. You better open before we okay. go for it. Don't go for Let's it. Let's hope it's a blue. <laughs> Round, you've got to do yeah. blues, you've got to do a lot of blues. I'm gonna go for Terry, number six. Box sure, number six, positive. Come on, Gary, we need another blue. Let's get you that blue. Yeah, <laughs> what on earth ah. do you do that for? No worries, Terry. So no worries. Oh. Prediction. No. Okay, he's making a, a prophecy. Right. He said that slip before the last break. Oh, he predicts you are going away with two hundred and fifty pounds, because the next box is the other two hundred and fifty, <laughs> the one that you really were talking right. about. Okay. That's his prediction on this box. If I find 50p? <laughs> 50p would be a very good way of rubbing his nose in it. Yeah. Francis. Come on, Francis. Francis. He's now latched onto it. He doesn't know where the money is, but he's playing the psychological game now. She made that little slip of the tongue. Said, come back and see me win the 250. And he's now basing his entire relationship and the way he's performing in the game on that slip of the tongue. I want you to prove that actually she's not going to reveal the quarter of a million now. Open the box. After the break. Ah. You'll be back. This is me. has a dream, she has a big ambition and she could still fund it actually but she would like to have a super vintage clothes shop, you'd like to travel the world getting stock from all over the world, really interesting clothing items, do you still want Francis? I do, yes. Okay Francis, on, Francis I think the best retort to the banker's forecast is for you to have £250 Hello Stevie such a lovely girl, I don't want to be the one who wrecks your game and I really wanted to be 250 pounds. Come on, Francis. There we go.
Hello. Four and four. I know they're both still on the board. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be amazing if at the end we end up with two hundred and fifty and two hundred and fifty thousand? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Right. He said it was tricky. I love it when he uses the word tricky because it's sort of very unhim. Uh, but he did say, no, this is very tricky because in terms of the mega life-changing money, and I think we would have to concede to this, it is a one-box game. Mm -hmm. So he's got to pitch it just right. He wants you to just, for the second, disregard the quarter of a million right. and consider selling your box for the same offer as before, seven and a half thousand. He has stuck. That's good. Um, what do you think, Hems? No. I know, I know you're not really happy with that. So I know what you're like. It'll be like big, big, big. No, but it's yeah. still a lot of money. I think it'll be... Usually I go, go, and then I just go... Yeah, that must have been reassuring for your... <laughs> it was really good when for your passengers on a long haul, that must have been... It's been quite a long flight, worried about that. Um, um, the next round's going to be tense. <laughs> What do you think, Francis? Well, Stevie, as long as you don't touch the quarter of a million pounds, we all know that your next offer is going to be uh, you know, a lot higher. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge gamble. I mean, if, you, if I was in that chair, I probably would take that gamble. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Yeah. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> You said it, this round's going to be tense for one very simple reason. We must not discover the big life changer. Tell, number 19. Come on, tell. Tell. We've got to get through this round without discovering where it is. Love you, lady, Stevie. Faith. And we do not want to see it, tell. Lift the lid. <laughs> this box, right, my boyfriend's always said, if I rub your beard three times, it will give me great luck, like a Buddha's belly. So should we see how this goes? One, two, three. Well, I hope the beard's going to work. I'm going to go Jason. Jason? Complete a fabulous round, please, by revealing the two hundred and fifty pounds. I really want this to be the two fifty. It's always fascinating when the quarter million is still in play at five box. And it gives him a huge problem. Now he's <laughs> Hello. He recognises you've made some, some brave no deals, given that it's been precarious for too long now. And so he says, a businessman to businesswoman, he's prepared to cut a deal with you. Yeah, she's 22 years old. Yes, we made 22 members of the 1P club yesterday. And she has box 22. Thank you. 
So, how do the 22s now convert into your offer, do you think? Is he offering you £15,022? £16,022? Or £22,000. Or £22,000. <laughs> That'd be a nice thought, wouldn't that it? That would be an amazing thought. Yeah, well, prepare to be amazed. It's 22,000. That's fantastic. Stevie. I think I should... I've got a great think. amount of money in your yeah. pocket. Don't get seduced by the no quarter way. of a million. Mm -mm. That's good money, and that's in your pocket. Cheers, Vic. Yeah. 50 can go in like any box. Yeah. It might not be on your table. Oh, I'd take it. Oh, I would take it. It's up to you. Stevie, what could £22,000 do for you? They could sort me out of debt, straight up, no debt at all. Um, that would cover all the business loan. Um, and I'd have, I'd have a lot. I'd have lots left as well. Stevie. What do you think, Francis? Stern words? That's a lot going on that number 22, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're 20, 22, aren't you? Mm -hmm. The banker has got his 22 uh, 1P uh, club. That's, you know, something around that 22. That, you know, would probably influence someone to gamble. But, you know, at your age, it's, it's too much. Mm -hmm. All right? It's too much. So, uh, if I was sitting in there, I think I would uh, think very serious, uh, seriously about the 22,000 pounds of it. Stevie. <laughs> right, well, that information is um, going to be fascinating. If you did go on and have the perfect round, taking out the 10,000 and the two blues, the next offer would be. £88,000. But that's not real, is it? Nope. <laughs> Somewhere along the I'm going to sit. Head. Yeah. Stevie, got three boxes to open. Check out the 10, the 15, leave yourself with 10, 2, 50. You've got a 33% chance of hitting it. 66% chance not. I'm ready for the question now. £22,000. Deal or no deal? Fantastic offer, Mr Banker. No deal. <laughs> to play the game and that is fantastic but I am going to knock out those two blues Crumbs, that was brave that that was that was amazing that goes down as one of our bravest no deals ever Stevie good luck with these three boxes right the very best of all number five Ben are you absolutely sure positive Good luck, lovely lady. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Ben. Look, Stephen. Oh, killer! Killer, as you say, in the very, very <laughs> first box. Sorry, Steve, that really on. Sorry, this is Grand there, no. I know, exactly... I know, but please, please, please remove that spooky box now. Never before has anyone really noticed the £250. Find it, please. Chaps. Okay, Chapla, could you please, please just remove the shadow of the £250? Yes! 
extraordinary. Uh, if you find the 250 pounds, it's worth 10,000 pounds to you. That's what you've created. You don't like that 13, do you? I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm going to go for... Russ. Okay, Russ, we want a 10 grand, 15 grand climax to this game. 250 pounds. Out of box nine. Thank you, Russ. This is it. 250. Oh, Russ! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's all right. What a round. Quarter million first box. 15,000 as well. <laughs> and what on earth is it about this game? Just a simple slip of the tongue into the first break where you oh say, come God, back yeah, and see me win the 250, <sighs> and you still could do it. Hello. OK, I'll pass that on. There's two parts to it. The first part is the painful part. The second part is actually quite provocative. The first part was, that was an incredibly brave no deal. So he doesn't doubt for a moment that you could have gone away mm. if that box had been more kind to you as our third quarter millionaire. Full of admiration for you, then. But then he's saying, I so much want her to win the 250. I bet he does. I so much want that to come true. I want my pleasure from Stevie. Two thousand pounds. Can't say anything to that, really. I'm still in shock. Oh. That, that's an easy offer, Steve. You sure yeah. you've got guts? Open yeah. your box. See what's in there. Go for it, Steve. Be positive. Open is your box. Is this the box, though? Or is number 13? Well, you're not necessarily going to get no, the swap, I know. so don't, I... don't base this decision on the swap. Hello? You will get the swap. Okay. There you go. Are you going to choose between your age or your birthday now? Mm. Well, hang on, we've got to get to that bit. You might yeah. want two thousand pounds. Okay. Am I asking? You are, yes. Two thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Okay. <laughs> Second question, Tony. Swap or no swap? Swap. You know, this is one of the most interesting swaps we've had for a very long time. Because of that slip of the tongue, did you actually have the 250 sitting in box 22? So have I now carried it out of your life? And am I hopefully bringing £10,000 into your life? On the other hand, you were absolutely adamant that 13 was an unlucky number, even though it's your birthday. Stevie, you produced the most fascinating climax to this game. Believe me, the banker is sitting right on the edge of his seat, just like everybody else. Except we want £10,000 for the plucky lady from Leon C. He wants his forecast, your slip of the tongue, to come true. He wants me now to reveal £250. Oh, no! How extraordinary is that? I actually carried the money away. <coughs> and that little slip of the tongue where you say, come back and see me win £250 has come true. Diane, open 22, please. Yep. Oh, dear. Ten grand there. Do you have a big regret about that? I am gutted now. But I'll be all right. Woo. <laughs> Well done for being so philosophical. I'm sorry it wasn't going to be so close. Stevie, 
250 pounds. Call it the Dream Factory, but you could actually call it a very spooky place indeed. I don't know what it is, but there is some other culture that goes on here. We keep throwing up these amazing coincidences, these amazing twists and turns. And for to actually end up winning the 250 is, in my book, totally extraordinary and a guarantee that you'll be with us tomorrow. Bye-bye. 35 tonight, Channel 4. Can Darren Brown predict tonight's live lottery draw? It's quite the effect.